Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have tested the 20 exponential for the last... Uh, five trading days and uh, we are not managing to break through this at the moment we have broke down significantly today uh, tested these uh, previous lows from uh, four days ago and at this current stage that is holding but at this point technical indicators are looking dreadful and the momentum is to the downside so we could drop all the way down towards these previous lows at 90 point 37 that's probably where we'll find a major support in the in the short run so let's look at oil so oil did uh, hit the top here on yesterday and today we fell continue falling so this has been rallying towards the top broke it down towards the middle of the bullish band rally broke down rally and that is probably what's going to happen here that will break down towards 62.82 uh, and rallying and then rallying towards uh, 70 actually so we are in a really nice channel here and uh, it is fairly predictable that this is going towards 70 in the long run if you manage to take out this channel this uh, candlestick here at the uh, 67.83 then then 70 is in the reach if the middle of the bullish band breaks, then we could head towards the bottom here at the 60 or 90 or 59.14. Technical indicators are all turning around, except for the MACD is still bullish at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas, as I said yesterday, it looks like it's running out of steam and is heading towards support at the 20 or the middle of the bullish band at 2.8102 technical indicators are all turning around and uh, even the macd is still above the signal line but it is leveling off and will most likely cross the signal line in the next few trading days otherwise other indicators are all turning uh, uh, south and that is indicating uh, bearish momentum so we're still in an uptrend uh, remarkable uptrend the last uh, few basically the last month and uh, we are running into massive resistance here at uh, give or take three dollars so let's look at copper so copper continues to defy uh, gravity and uh, probably one of the reasons for this is because there is a shortage of copper copper high demand as usual when everything reopens again it is one of the most important uh, metals there is uh, for basically everything and uh, there is kind of shortage in the copper industry at this point therefore we are seeing these major rallies so we're not even getting close to support we're just trending sideways and then just rallying so trending sideways and just rallying we did eventually here hit support and then continue rallying technical indicators are very bullish we are at 71 at the moment so we're significantly over but and uh, there's still room to the upside so it can become much higher these rsi numbers before this basically falls so let's look at gold so gold really took off today and at this current stage uh, we are trading at 1815 and the 200 moving average will most likely be our next target pullbacks at this point could be expected as we are significantly overstretched so we could fall back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher we are at 64 so there's a lot of room to the upside technicals are very bullish indeed so we have been rallying from the very bottom here and it looks like we are ready to go towards 1850 so let's look at silver so silver had a massive rally today all the way up towards nearly yeah 79 27.3 at this current stage technical indicators are very bullish for silver but we are outside of the bullish band here we're at 65 so on the edge of being overbought so pullbacks could be expected but we are also rallying very similar to gold usually this falls gold and uh, 20 exponential has proven to be major support down there at the 26 dollars if you break 
27.5, then we could head back towards these previous highs here, 28.25, and then probably all the way up to $30. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum also rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band, and usually that means that we will run into resistant. This has been an uh, area of resistant in the past. We can see how often we have basically tested this area, did eventually break above here, and then it fell quite drastically. If we managed to break above this level here, we could go to 1300. Breakdowns from here will most likely find support at the middle at the 1208 and then down here at 1159. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has fallen um, back in basically rallied. So it fell quite significantly and then rallied at the end of the session. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, so this is most likely not the end of this fall. It did pull back here, but we'll probably test the middle of the bullish band before going higher. If that breaks, then we could head towards the 50 moving average down here at 26 to 36, uh, but that is uh, fairly unlikely at this current stage. But we have been on a massive rally and uh, since we broke out from uh, here, and uh, pullback was always expected at this point. So 3000 was basically the catalyst for this, for a pullback. But pulling back will just increase momentum to the upside. Taking out 3000 will leave the door open to 3500. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium continued to rally today. We're up 24.94 and now we're getting to a level where this is surely to be uh, pulling back at any point. We are significantly over a bot. Technically, we are very bullish, but we are approaching also uh, a level which should be symbolic of basically, give or take, 2,500. So pullback at this current stage should be expected, and we should expect uh, support down here at the 23.34. So let's look at nickel. So nickel uh, ran into resistance here up at 17,943, uh, pulled back and then rallied yet again. So this probably won't be the last of this pullback. Uh, we'll most likely test the 20 exponential at some point before going significantly higher. Technical indicators, they are, they are mixed. MACD is bullish. Does, um, Stochastic is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So down here at 16,918, uh, uh, it will mostly be major support. It will probably be a little bit higher. And uh, break above this level here, of give or take, 18,000 will open the door to 19,000 and 20,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar, well, has been all over the place today and it kind of ended up at the same place where we started. So uh, uh, we did rally up towards this level, hit support at the 20 rally, and then a lot of choppiness. At this current stage, it is it is uh, difficult to enter this market. It can go down, it can go up. Technical indicators are favoring the upside. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has really took off, uh, taken off. Sorry, uh, this was also kind of expected as it found major support here at the twenty exponential, and usually that when that is the case, when it doesn't break down, it decides to go the other way. It's just a matter of time. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside, but it probably won't go further than zero point ninety one twenty seven. If we break above there, then we'll target the previous highs over here. We just give or take uh, 0 0.9534. Technical indicators, as I said, are very bullish indeed. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa had continues to rally. Our, we are finding major resistance here at the 50, uh, no, 20 expansion moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around, uh, except for the MACD is still bearish at this point. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish. And the RSI is also bullish at this point. So this is a really, really difficult market to trade. It is, it can break down 5%, rally the next day 5%. It 
is a complete gamble in my view and therefore I I didn't technically never traded at it has been a long time since I traded last time so wheat so wheat continues to rally we're up uh, 754 massive rally to the upside I was expecting this to break towards the middle of the bullish band or 20 exponential, but no, it continues to rally. And we are past uh, 750 and a trading at 754 at this point. And uh, technical indicators are all favoring the upside. We are, there's still a lot of room to the upside to the top of the bullish band, but we are significantly overbought at this current stage. So, Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.